I hope you know I'm for the tag. You know this cookie's for the bag. Kitty, kitty, baby, get her things to rest. Cause you done beat it like the 68 Jets. I love you, I love you, I love you. Until I find a way. It's Case Pink, welcome back to my channel, and I believe I found the perfect summer hairstyle. And yes, it is a wig, but it is one of the most natural and realistic looking wigs I have worn to date. And of course, it's from none other than RPG Show. From the volume, the texture, the curl pattern, and the pre-plucked hairline, because we all know what really sells a good quality unit is how well the hairline looks and how natural it appears. Appears. So this style is everything and more. It's literally the topic of discussion wherever I go. And if you all would like some summer style inspiration, I show you guys how to wear the hair in a cute updo because let's say you don't want the hair on your shoulders. And if you've been lurking on the RPG show site, let's say you're interested in purchasing, now is the time because they're having their 10th anniversary sale. And with the code RPG show, you get $60 off. Girl, do not wait. Now is the the time if you have been lurking and really thinking to invest so without further ado I'm gonna show you some style inspiration and give you a review so let's get right into it RPG offers some of the best packaging out. They give you more than just a wig carrying case, but a wig cap, a comb, and ear tape for a customized fit for your unit. And right out of the bag, I noticed the curls are popping. They are full of life. And the wig cap itself has a ton of parting space, more than what is standard. And one of the things that I did notice is that the unit had a trace aroma. And because of this curl pattern, the way in which it's chemically processed could lead to a trace aroma or scent so to protect myself I just wanted to go in and cleanse it and I highly encourage you all to do the same this pre-plucked hairline is the highlight this is highly customized and this is something that you would expect at this particular price point it looks beautiful like beautiful absolutely no tweezing done so the first thing that I wanted to do was just go in and make those curls pop I added a mixture of oils, leave-in conditioner, and a little bit of conditioner itself, and I just really wanted to saturate the entire unit so that the curls are springy and just very juicy, as they should be. At this point, I noticed that the parting space is really nice. This is something that is completely optional, but I did want to go in and tweeze the area within the parting space as well as straighten it out a bit. This is the only area that I tweezed, and you all will see that I did not do much tweezing at all. And again, if you add a little bit of concealer or pressed powder, you can completely skip this step. But I did want to say that when I am tweezing the part and removing the excess or shed hair, I am not going to drag a comb through this hair. I don't want to bother the curls too much, so I just pulled the excess hair with my hands and it worked out perfectly. And this unit comes with baby hairs spanning the entire perimeter, so at the front itself, I really wanted to taper them off really lightly and nicely at the very ends and shorten them they were a little bit long and some people may like that look but i know i want something a little bit more realistic looking now i'm actually going to go around the entire perimeter of the unit and begin to pull or tease out some of the baby hairs and i'm also going to go in and taper the ends of it as well because since i'm wearing this up in a bun, I wanna make sure that the entire perimeter is clean and it looks polished. Now, I wanted to do something different. I'm experimenting. These are things that I've seen on Instagram and you know, I feel confident enough to attempt this. So I just cut the lace with it on my head. This allowed me to see how the fit actually is from ear to ear. And if there are any nuances or things that you want to change, you can do that at this time and kind of tailor it to your natural hairline. But only attempt this if you are actually 100% comfortable. 
as far as putting on my U that I do the standard got to be glue method but I'm applying the got to be ultra glue gel before my natural hairline and I'm going to use the free spray on top of it and again apply it before my actual natural hairline and when I'm putting on the unit I am going to bring it further than my natural hairline because I don't like to place it directly on my hairline I use that as a precautionary measure and I just allow it to sit with a satin scarf and let it set in place for about 15 to 20 maybe even 30 minutes because girl I want this unit to be stuck on my head I don't want it going anywhere and with the hotter temperatures you don't want it to lift so after about 25 30 minutes I'm just going to go in and use this foaming mousse to really kind of you know style my quote-unquote baby hairs to make it look realistic I don't do the most I do what I think complements the unit as well as my face and another thing I'm just going back in with that mixture of leave-in conditioner oil and water to really allow the curls to pop before I do my up to and adding a little bit of the dry look activator gel by Hawaiian silky it really allows the curls to just come to life and even in an updo you want your curls to be popping right now i'm taking small sections and just really using my hands and just gathering the hair towards the very top or nearest the crown if it makes you more comfortable you can wrap your edges with a scarf as you do this step that is something that i would recommend if you're not as comfortable yet with the got to be glue method but i'm just bringing all of the hair to the very top and it can be a little bit messy i actually like that look and I'm going to use an extra long scrunchie and just really secure the ponytail in place because you don't want it to slide too much. This curl pattern is a little bit different than, you know, your straighter textures. So you're going to have to really make sure it's secure. With the excess, I'm going to twist the very ends of the hair after I've collected it all at one point and I'm just gonna use this little rubber band to really kind of secure in the ends or as much as I could you guys will see that it'll slip out but again don't fret the small stuff and I am just going to twist this ponytail onto itself and take it into a circular motion kind of like a 360 probably like 270 because it doesn't go entirely around itself and I just take the excess hairs that may have fallen and I wrap them around the bun that we've just created and I bobby pin it in place and you can go back of course and just check out the shape make sure it's exactly how you'd like it if you want it bigger you can do that but I'm adjusting the wig itself especially at the nape to make sure I have full coverage and I'm pulling out those little baby hairs as well as the wefts at the back so I don't have any tracks showing and girl this is how it looks I'm so excited and I'm happy I attempted this I love the style inspiration with the scarf I hope you all enjoyed this be sure to check out my wig playlist and check out RPG show their 10th anniversary sale is going on now use RPG show for $60 off if you like this video give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one thank you so much for watching uh -huh.